Hello and welcome to another episode of NGWN Music News. If it ain't news, then it for sure ain't music. Oh, hello there. Hey, baby. How you doing? I'm sexy and Wait. know it. Justin? Oh, just get out of him, man. What are you doing? Yeah, that's right. If you haven't seen it already, you have now. Justin Bieber, master of all obsession, has expressed his innermost desires to be like Beyonce in this post from his Instagram. What the? God, it's been a slow week. In other news, BBC has confirmed the death of rapper R. Kelly's career after they aired a scandalous documentary outlining the cult-like behavior that Mr. Kelly created for the women in his life, resulting in his lawyer, his assistant, and his publicist all quitting. You go, girls! So, if you want to get your own back, move fast, ladies. His pants are down! Uh, let's get ready to rumble! And now a reminder, just because you are Beyonce and just because you are headlining Coachella doesn't mean you can't make an absolute tit out of yourself. Go on tape. Oh man, that's the good stuff. Shut your cake hole! However, this week also saw the passing of 28-year-old Avicii whose music has left a big impression on many and whose lack of presence is sure being felt in the music industry right now. With tributes to the DJ coming in thicker and faster than a game of dodgeball, our condolences go out to the family and to Avicii's innumerable fans. And now, presenting our Stalker of the Week, Sexy. Roger Alvarado, who finally managed to break into Taylor Swift's New York home after a failed attempt in February and took a nap. LOL! What a legend! Oh, police found and arrested him mid-nap in the star's home, which can only be described as rude. I mean, it could not have been easy to break into that place, and I think Mr. Alvarado really could have used that nap before being holed off to his cell for the night. I am the one the So, this happened. Hashtag Bonobus. What the? Two of the world's worst leaders and all-around people have come together for a good old ego ribbon. Well, all right then. As ex-president Bush awarded Bono the first ever medal for distinguished leadership. Let's say that again. Distinguished leadership. <laughs> you got a real pretty mouth Whilst on. Whilst Bono praised Bush for his efforts in the battle against HIV. Huh. Something really smells a bit funny, doesn't it? I mean, not that it's a bad thing that we can cure HIV now, that's fantastic, but the, where these two knuckleheads get off stroking each other's egos? LOL! I, I don't know, I, whatever. But who knows, perhaps Bono will hold a concert in Bush's honor, followed up by a good old Texan barbecue back at Bush's place. Daddy Bush. But, it's not the most exciting news of the week. No, 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 no. Squeal! Panic of the Disco are coming back with a new album, and you can pre order it right now in that uh, thing down there, whatever it's called. But if you haven't already, you better fuck. Got silver lining. That's right, Brendan. Fuck Got up. Silver lining. And Brendan, if you want to be on the show, you better let us know because you're cool, man. And if you haven't already, you better freaking pre order this shit. It comes out June 22nd, and it is like the best. Well, I don't know. I haven't actually heard it yet, but that'll be cool. So, that's the week. That nuppet in the suit right there, he's doing stuff on Wednesday, 8 p.m. GMT, keeping it fresh with that tea. And if you dig it, then go click it. Click with them both. And if you have something to say, don't spray. Just leave it in the comments down below. I'm out. No way, yo, yo, yo.